My name is John Bartlett and I'm a menswear designer. I have my own label, John Bartlett, and I'm also creative director for a label called Claiborne by John Bartlett. In women's wear, there's no homophobia, really. It's like the more camp, the more kind of out there the designer is, the better. In men's wear, because you're selling to men, there is sometimes a very unspoken kind of underlying homophobia that if you're showing something that's a little bit too risque or too sexual, suddenly it's marginalized as gay. I would love to see gay, lesbians, transsexuals, bisexuals all mixed together. Just meeting people that are of similar but very different worlds, to me that's always very exciting. And uh, there's a lot to gain from each of those different subcultures to build a much larger subculture. I think everybody should help everybody succeed. Um, nothing gives me more pleasure than to be able to share contacts to be able to share references. In this market, any advantage that you have and any connections you can make are really helpful. I've had a couple of mentors I would really love more, actually, but I had a couple of mentors. They were different designers that I worked for and certain friends that I had met very early on in living, moving to New York City. Uh, but for a long time, I haven't had a real mentor and I think that we could all use one. I do love meeting the kids who are just out of school just to kind of prepare them for what the industry is really like and what kind of opportunities might be out there and to help them just kind of be a little bit more flexible and open as to what they might be interested in doing. I would envision using Dot429 as an interesting way to connect with people. Sometimes I'm looking for a certain type of art director, a certain type of artist, a salesperson. I mean, there's always things that I'm kind of looking for and it could be nice to send that out into the gay community. A lot of my passions are art, film, um, fashion from different eras. I love to look at old magazines. I love watching old films. I have two dogs that I've rescued and I hold um, four times a year these wonderful adoption events with North Shore Animal League. To me, success is being able to find that wonderful balance, that bridge between professional life and personal life where you're really living a wonderfully rich life and you're loving the work that you're doing and I don't know if I will ever feel successful um, but I think that the term again is very elusive so it's hard to say I'm very happy in my career I'm very thankful and humbled by all the opportunities that I've had but successful I don't know it's still kind of still to be defined